Hi everybody, good day to you. So uh, I would, didn't really plan on making a video about this car. This is a 2008 Jaguar XJ. And uh, I was trying to get the wheel alignment into spec and it was a little bit too far negative on the right front camber. Uh, we determined that the most likely cause was a bent spindle. Or the uh, steering knuckle, I should say. Uh, now we ordered one, got it in, and uh, I was in the process of replacing it, but the bearing on the new one new old one salvage one uh, was a little crusty so I wanted to reuse the original bearing and wheel speed sensor that was installed and this is where we come into the part where I decided to make a video about it because I can't get this thing out of here I've been soaking it in penetrating oil giving it some love taps with the uh, impact driver and it's just it's in there it's pretty solid so now I am forced to escalate and that is why I changed my mind and decided to film this endeavor because we need to escalate with fire. And that's what this video is gonna be about. Full on rocket surgery. Let's get to it. Now it's getting real. All right, folks, engage your safety squints. Fire. I'm going to put a bunch of heat into the bearing, or its housing, rather. Let it expand. And then as it cools, it will contract at a faster rate than the aluminum and it should break the corroded contact area between the two components. I wonder if this is rule number three of the internet. Rule number one being don't solder. Rule number two being don't weld. Is rule number three, do not use the torque. I guess we're gonna find out. downwind of all the smoke, by the way. Too hot. Uh -oh. Doing, buddy. Open in a fresh gallon of lube. <laughs> He's doing a set of twenty fours on a on an RV motorhome. Big truck twenty fours, not rubber band twenty fours. That's uh, call that a better job. Better you than me. All right. 
Let's let this guy cool off. We'll hit it again with some lube and uh, see if I can't get it out. All right, as the smoke clears, I will give this another attempt. This is hot all the way out to here. The heat has soaked through. That's intense. It was working. Yeah, we're getting somewhere now. It's moving. It's bigger gun. Original. Look how hot these things got. Look at that. It's the one I torched. That's the original. And look at all the heat that went into the spindle. 188 degrees. More steam. Moving on to the cleanup phase. Going back at it with my flapper wheel. Get more airflow, I'm not breathing this crap. There, got a fan going. Shirt mask on. How much brake clean? All of it. This has to come out of here. It will cause interference on the fit, which will lead to a misalignment, and uh, that would be bad. Much better. Okay, next up is a rare guest appearance of Never Seas. We don't need much of it down here in sunny Florida, but in a case like this, so I don't uh, destroy the next guy, it's going to get a generous liberal coating.
and the goal is to only get this where it needs to be not on me and my face and my tools and everywhere else but never sees has a mind of its own when it comes to uh, contamination but I'll try my best five minutes with this stuff and you end up looking like the Tin Man from Wizard of Oz There we go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. That way. Like a glove. Okay, coming around to the other side. Let's get the bolts in. Doo -doo -doo. I did put a little bit of anti-seize compound on the shank of these bolts, not on the threads. Sorry, you guys couldn't see. I ended up putting on the uh, lower ball joint and now I can start to hinge everything back into its spot. We'll get the uh, upper control arm on, tie rod, and of course the brakes. So, like I said earlier, please forgive my moderate lack of the enthusiasm and energy. I'm, uh, I'm suffering from a time change syndrome. Feels like as soon as you recover from one time change, you have to go ahead and do the next one. Get in there. Ooh, safe. Okay, we need to get this wheel speed sensor in its home. There's a little notch here. Hope you can see it. There's a notch right there that aligns it with its uh, counterpart on the plug. I know lighting's getting kind of scarce. So sorry for the long shadows and things of that nature. What you doing, Petey? Nothing. Were you drawing profanities on my bench? He was. Almost. Almost got it. Yes, sir. Uh, there's fire on the. Yeah, I got one here. And a torch lighter. You're welcome. I think I have this backwards. I did have it backwards. Kicks. <clears throat> Good. Secure. Okay, let's back up some, get the brakes on. But not before some actual clicks. Here, let's move over here to Torque Wrench Cam.
Okay, that's three down, one to go. This was a tough one. Click. Wow, I am off today. I just I just clicked an actual click. Okay. Okay, two bolts left. These are for the caliper bracket. Thread. Who's that second one? I can feel it. Crisis averted. Caught it. Okay, with the exception of this little wheel speed sensor line wire. We're good to go. Right there. Get in there. Beautiful. Okay, wheel on and then a wheel alignment. This one's done though. Uh, like I said, I'm suffering from a Monday case of the time changes, so I don't really, really want to make a video about the wheel alignment. Uh, that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and close this one out right now. As always, I'd like thank you guys for watching my video. And I want to let you know that I appreciate you being here, especially since you're here all the way to the end. Since you are here all the way to the end, I'm going to assume that you like this video. And if my assumption is accurate, I would only ask of you to communicate that fact to me by happy tapping that like button down below. Hmm, there it is. There's always one straggler that runs. Breathe your foot lug nuts in with an impact gun. You should be fired. Bonus torque wrench cam.